you had sales masters, you engaged them to develop a, a playbook. Uh, what is that? And what was your, what, again, what was the business case that supported that sort of a uh, document? What is it? It was a good investment. Um, it, was a, it was a big investment for the team, both in time and obviously money. But it was worth it because what it gave us was from an end-to-end process, from when someone engages and might be just an initial lead or might be someone that doesn't know Abco, how we actually behave and what we do and who we turn to for information and where the information is. And, of course, the whole way through it, it makes sure we do things the Abco way. Mm-hmm. So we don't get off script. We, don't make, we make sure we're always consistent in our approach. And, of course, we're humans. Things aren't always right. We don't always we don't always make mistakes. And then there's something to go back to. There's a, there's a single source of truth when it comes to how we behave, the structure we, we work in, and, of course, the communication, you might say, communication um, styles, but not only that, also the communicate, when to communicate and how to communicate to our clients. Um, once again, it gave us an absolute awesome structure. So when we're hiring and we're, we're, we're expanding our teams in different regions or maybe even expanding teams in existing states, we now can get a person into the ABCO fold, um, obviously that suits our core values, and we can put a sales playbook in front of them that tells them exactly what they need to do on a day-to-day basis, but then it gives them that um, forward-thinking um, or forward outlook. So they're not left in a vacuum, and they've got always a single source of truth to, to, to reference to.